Edgar, you're fine. And you? Fine, Edgar, good, Edgar, good. What was your key, Edgar? I had to change the link because the previous link, I don't know, it didn't let me in, so that's why I had to change the link, Edgar. And I sent an email to everybody, so, so I think you also got the email. So, Edgar, tell me, Edgar, how was your weekend? What did you do? Uh, well, my, my weekend was uh, a little busy because uh, I went with my mom uh, at Home Depot to buy something for a new construction. So okay. it was, was really uh, busy that day. Um, Saturday, uh, I was uh, a barbecue meeting. So, All right. Well, yeah, it was very... Uh, a good taste with hang with with, with my friends. Uh, finally, uh, the Sunday uh, was arrived uh, uh, an uncle from San Francisco. So, oh, really? I, yeah. So I was um, I went to the to to the mall restaurant. Uh, heritage places, so yeah. Oh, okay, okay. How long is he going to stay in Mexico? Uh, I'm not sure, but probably two two weeks. Excellent. Okay. So now, for how long has he lived in San Francisco? Uh, well, uh, let me see. Well, at least more than. Thirty years. Oh, come on. A long time ago. Then, and tell me, uh, what did he do there? What's his job there? Uh, well, uh, she's a nurse. Ah, okay, a nurse. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure, but uh, uh, I think this year or the, the the last year change uh, well have a promotion and um, good uh, actually she's uh, a manager for, uh, at, uh, at the hospital oh, okay interesting Edgar. good Edgar. Edgar, and did you did you watch any any good movie did you have a time to watch any good movie no it was really <laughs> I didn't have time to but uh, uh, I I have addiction with a new series. Uh, yes. The name, yeah, the, it's a, a British series. Uh, is Peaky Blinders. Peaky it, Blinders. It's awesome. Yeah. If <laughs> if you have chance, uh, I highly recommend it. What is the series about, Edgar? Uh, it's, action, it's, horror, thriller, mm, romance. No, no, no. It, about the uh, the drama, it's about uh, uh, gangsters for the twenties in right. in Birmingham. In Birmingham. Good. So yeah, it's 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 a good history. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Very good. Edgar, and how many chapters have you already seen? Yeah, as I told you, uh, I'm addicted to this series, so at least uh, I must uh, watch one one chapter per per day. So uh, right now, I'm, uh, uh, right now I'm on the on the season five, chapter six or five. I don't remember. But if I'm season wrong, five. <laughs> yeah, I uh, yeah. the total seasons uh, are six six seasons. Okay, and how many chapters are there in, in each season? I'm not sure, but I think it's more more or less eight to ten. Okay, so in total, you have already seen like um, eight or eight. eight like um, 40 chapters so in, in average 
Uh, no, more, no? More, more, yeah, uh, more, more than 40. <laughs> Come on, Edgar. Very good, yeah, Edgar. I told you, I told you. It was uh, interesting. Do you watch movies in Spanish, in English? No, uh, I prefer always uh, the original uh, audio with, with transcripts. All right. But, uh, that's good, that's good time. Yeah. Uh, I I try sometimes to to English transcriptions, but uh, uh, I was very lazy, <laughs> and <laughs> I and I switch to the Spanish. All right, but then I, I I think that for you it's easy to understand uh, listening, right? For you, I don't believe listening is a problem for you, Edgar. No, I don't think. Well, I, for, for example, these series because uh, they use a lot of words that was uh, old, old, old words. Uh, so probably the language that that they use in, in these series is the real uh, words at that moment. So okay. it it so there are a lot of uh, of words that. I, I didn't understand and also I didn't know <laughs> what it's mean but but uh, the, the the accent for for British it's it's ah, very yes. hard for me because all my life uh, I I used to 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 practice with America. English, not yes, British English. Exactly, exactly, exactly. It's true. And Edgar, have you ever traveled to London? Have you ever been to London or to England? No, I never, I never travel to London. Okay, no, neither have I, Edgar. Okay, neither have I. But I wish I, I could travel someday to London. Okay. Why London? Because um. My teachers, when I studied English at the, at the university, my teachers were from London, they were from England. And, and I, I remember a, a teacher, she told me, she was born in, in London, but she lived in, in, in Jalapa city. And she was my teacher. She told us one day to the whole class, she said, you know, you as Mexican people, you are rich and you are lucky. Why? Because in England, if you want to eat, uh, for example, uh, mangoes, or if you want to eat uh, watermelons, they are very expensive. And, and she said, here in Mexico, you can eat mangoes um, almost every day. You can. Here in Mexico, they are very cheap. So. Yeah, you're, you're totally, I'm totally agree with you because um, Mexico have everything. The problem is, the, the government, the systems, and also are many people is is not a uh, a kind people. So that that's that's a problem with 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 this country. But uh, you know have a uh, pros and cons. So, but yeah, uh, talking about uh, uh, culinary uh, things, uh, Mexico. I think it's. Uh, on, on the top ten of around the world, exactly, exactly. Yes, yes. And I had it. I learned. I learned that from her. Edgar, and when you think about that, I I was convinced that it was true. Okay, why? Well, because maybe in other countries, uh, yes, maybe life is better, but they don't have the chance to eat those things like we do in Mexico. Right, right, right. Very good, very good. Good morning, Benjamin. How are you, Benjamin? Uh, good, mo good morning, Miguel. Uh, fine, fine, thank you. How are you today? Fine, Benjamin. Benjamin, please share with us, Benjamin, how was your weekend, Benjamin? What did you do last weekend? Uh, fine, fine, fine. I, I, I only watch uh, TV, uh, some, some movies, some, some TV series, um, and go with my family to the, to the park near to my house. Um, Great. And only that, only, only, only stay at, at home with, with my family. 
Excelente. Media Mintel, me what was the weather like in Toluca last weekend? Now, uh, in, the, in the weekend, uh, it's rain, raining, uh, maybe uh, all, the, all, the day, all day, and more for the, for the evening. But really? It's raining. Okay. Okay, 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 Benjamin. Benjamin, and how was your day yesterday, Benjamin? Uh, yesterday uh, is a, a day with a lot of work. Uh, right. I I work um, for 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 I work too too late for for the night. Uh, for oh for really? For I mean, some... you, you can you can say I worked, I uh -huh. work late. Tú puedes decir. I worked late until night. I don't want to put it in the chat. I worked. I worked late until night. So I can work late until night. I work late until night. Okay. Really, Benjamin? And how how late, Benjamin? Uh, for the eleven. No, it's since eleven. Eleven. 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. My God, you mean that is too late? I mean, yes. <laughs> okay. Well, why, I mean, did you have so much work, or did you have many pending things? Uh, no, no, I I have a lot of work. All right, all right, all right. good. good. Okay. <laughs> exactly as as Edgar said. Okay, not a good deal, I mean, Okay. <laughs> He, he was on the chat, not a good deal. No, exactly, man, you know. I mean, I mean, is it usual for you to work that late? Uh, yes, maybe not, the, not in, the, in the last month, but right. in, 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 in all my years in the company, it's, it's normal to <laughs> work uh, too late. Oh, come on, but I mean, how long have you been working for the company? You told me, but I forgot. Uh, I I am business analyst for yes. for Vista, uh, but uh, only for the last month. Uh, be, uh, begin to to this to this work. I I work as as um, con IT consultant. For, ah, for okay, years. okay. Ah, uh, you can say my name. You can say. Puedes decir una. Voy a poner chat. I started working at Vista. Yes. As an IT consultant. Ahí está, mira. I okay. started working at Vista as an IT consultant. Ah, okay, okay. So you when, when did, did you get promoted, Benjamin? Last uh, last uh, year? Uh, in, in these years, for for beginning of these years, yes. I I changed my my ah, okay, position. Okay. So you, you, yeah, le puedes decir así, ahí le voy a poner en el chat, ¿ok? Tú puedes decir, at the beginning of this year, uh -huh. okay. I got promoted. Okay. At the beginning okay. of this year, I got promoted. Yes. Ah, ok, Benjamin, good. Benjamin, and um, look at this. I'm going to wait on the chat. How long, how long have you been working? Have you been working for Vista, Benjamin? Five years in five years in in August or thirty of August of this of this year. I yes. have five years in Vista. Okay, okay. Me okay. so, una pregunta por ejemplo para decir ¿Cuál es tu antigüedad, no? ¿Cuál es tu antigüedad? Okay. I'm going to say what is your seniority at, at the company? What is your seniority at the company? ¿Cuál es tu antigüedad en la, en la empresa? Ah, ok, fue allí, Benjamin. Good. What about Edgar? Edgar, what is your seniority at the company? Uh, well, uh, actually, in two days, um, I complete the, the trial. Uh, ah. The trial. How can I say that? Yes, uh, the trial. You can say. The uh, trial. The, the trial time, I started to. The trial well, time. time, right? Ah, so, okay. Yeah, I'm a I'm a baby in this company. 
very good player, very good. Okay, okay, okay. Excellent. Benjamin, um, tell, tell us, Benjamin. What did you eat uh, on, on a weekend, Benjamin? Did you eat anything special on weekend? Uh, no, nothing special, only the, the normal eat. <laughs> uh, Very good. So, um, um, I don't know, uh, uh, feel it. Um, Benjamin, and what is your favorite food? Sorry? What is your favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, uh, I don't know, maybe the um, no i don't know I, I maybe i i like every every food <laughs> okay <laughs> okay you, you you can say i like you can say you can say Benjamin, i like any food any food uh, i like any food cualquier comida okay what about edgar edgar what is your favorite food uh, my favorite foods are in Lados. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, so are mine, Edgar. Okay, so, so are mine, okay. I mean, let me ask, okay, so are mine. <laughs> Very good, okay, excellent. Excellent, friends. okay, so let, let me share my screen, okay. In the meantime that Jose arrives, let's... Uh, sorry, let's... Miguel. Uh, yes. Jose will send it uh, a new mail with a new link. I'm, I'm not sure if you ah yes uh, if I, you saw yes I I I, I sent uh, this link to Jose today to today morning. Oh <laughs> yes I, I got it I got it yes actually actually he's coming okay <laughs> good hello Jose good morning Jose how are you Jose good morning teacher how are you Fine, Jose. Fine. Jose. Fine too. Fine too. Excellent, Jose. So I was like, we were speaking about, about our weekends, okay? But um, yes. how we were doing. So Benjamin and Edgar told me that they had really good, good weekends. Okay. Benjamin was working too late yesterday. <laughs> but um, ah, by the way, Benjamin, thank you for being here, okay? Because, I mean, he finished yesterday at 11. And Edgar also had a great weekend, okay? Okay, thank you. Richard. Very, very good. Jose. Okay, so you are the host now, okay? Yes. Good. Okay. Uh, good morning, Edgar and Mechamim. How are you today? Fine, fine, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you so much. Okay, so. Let's start. Can you see my stream? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to start with today's topic that it's called when things go wrong. What do you understand with this topic? ¿Qué entienden con este tema? When you are in uh, troubles. When we are in, in trouble. Okay. What else? Mejamim, what do you understand with this topic? Hey, con, con algo ando mal, algo, algo ando mal. Okay, cuando algo ando mal. Muy bien. Okay, when things go wrong. Let's see what it's about. Okay. Here it says that we're going to learn how to tell anecdotes about things that went wrong using the past continuous and past simple. Okay, do you remember the past simple? What do we use it for? Uh, for routines? For habits? Okay, that's the present simple, but the past simple. Oh, sorry. The past simple. Do you remember this tense? Recuerdan para que utilizamos el pasado simple? Para cosas que ya terminaron. Okay, exactly. For things that have finished. Okay, to talk about things that happened in the past. Events or actions. Okay. And today we're going to learn how to use the past continuous. Okay, but first I have this question. 
what do you know about telling anecdotes? Mejamim, do you know what is anecdotes? Ane anecdotas? Anecdotas, very good. And um, what do you know about telling an anecdotes? In English, for example, uh, when when you ask me for my week weekend, I I I tell uh, anecdotes for 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 those days. Okay, excellent. When I ask you about your weekend, you start telling me how was your weekend. Okay, excellent. Um, Edgar, what do you know about telling anecdotes? Um. Well, it's it's a uh, uh, an item that every everyone needs to uh, have. So the background is very important for um, the history for to to talk about for something or a uh, good or bad experience. Okay, Edgar, thank you. Okay, in general. Do you like telling anecdotes? Uh, sometimes, when it's uh, new things or something that probably you can uh, learn, it's it's okay. But sometimes all people uh, repeat the same <laughs> anecdotes, so it's a little bit boring. Okay, it can be boring sometimes. And Mejamim, what do you think about this question? Do you like telling anecdotes? ¿Te gusta contar anecdotas? Yes, yes. Uh, sometimes uh, with, with my family or, or my friends, I tell anecdotes with them. Okay, with your family or friends. Okay, mm -hmm. excellent. Vamos, we're gonna read some examples from the book so we can see how we can tell anecdotes about using the past continuous and passive so give me a minute so i can okay here we have okay Okay, can you see these examples? No. No? Yep. Yep, okay. Here we have three different examples um, of three different people telling anecdotes about their week. Are you having a bad week? Okay, Edgar, can you read the first example, please? Sure. Um... Shane Davis says, actually, yes, I was going to work on the train mon Monday morning. And I was talking to this woman. I guess I wasn't paying attention and I missed my stop. I was half an hour late for a meeting with my new bus. Okay, thank you, Edgar. And uh, Mejamin, can you read the second example, please? Yes. Uh, Definitely, my friend accidentally deleted all my music files when she was using my computer. Actually, she was trying to help me. She was downloading downloading stuff from my phone and something went wrong. I spent hours on the phone with tech support. Okay, thank you, Benjamin. And then we have the third example that says, yeah, kind of. A couple of days ago, a friend and I were trying to look cool in front of some girls at the mall. We weren't looking, and we walked right into a glass door. I was so embarrassed. Okay, so here we have uh, three different people telling anecdotes about what happened during their week. Okay, in the first example, um, can you identify some simple sentences. Edgar, please. Uh, a simple. Mm. 
for example, I was going to, I wasn't paying attention, I was talking to, uh, I was half, I miss. Okay, thank you, Edgar. In this case, um, the past simple sentence that we have here is, I missed, okay? I missed. I was going to, okay. I was as fast continues. Okay, we're gonna see it in a few moments more. But I was going to, I was talking, I wasn't paying attention. Is the past continuous. But I missed, I was half an hour, is past simple. Okay, so, okay, thank you, Adrian. Benjamin, can you identify some past simple sentences in this example, please? The past simple is uh, she was uh, she was she was using she was trying she was downloading mm, mm, and only that. Okay, thank you, Benjamin. Okay, okay. Here we have some simple past simple sentences. The first one that we have is my friend accidentally deleted all my music. Then we have, I spent hours, um, something went wrong, and we have, she was using my computer. Here we have the past continuous, she was downloading, okay, that's the past continuous. Oh. And the third example, okay, thank you, Benjamin. And then we have this third example. Here we have, I were trying to this is the past continuous we weren't looking past continuous we walk past simple i was so embarrassed yeah, past simple okay any questions with this no no okay let's see what it's about can you see the presentation again yeah. okay yep. Here we have this new topic that it's called uh, past continuous statements. Okay, what do we use the past continuous for? It says that we use the past continuous to set a background for a story or tell about events in progress in the past. And we use the simple past for completed actions in the past. Okay, let's see this. Okay, aquí tenemos how we can use the pass, the simple pass and the past continuous. We use the simple pass to talk about completed actions, habits, and facts in the past. Para acciones o hechos que ya terminaron en el pasado. Okay, and we use the past continuous. It's used to express interrupted actions, the specific time as an interruptions and parallel actions. Okay. Para acciones que están pasando en el pasado, de alguna manera, y que son interrumpidas por algo. For example, Edgar, can you read this example, please? I went to the cinema yesterday. I went to the cinema yesterday. Thank you. Benjamin, can you read the second example? Yes, I always visit. visit my grandparents in my summer holidays when I was little. Okay, thank you. And finally we have, I lived near Liverpool for a couple of years. Okay, this is the simple past. As you can see, um, those are some actions that have already finished, that are completed in the past. Okay, son acciones que ya terminaron. For example, I went to the cinema yesterday. Yesterday, it finished yesterday. Okay, and then we have the past continuous. Edgar, can you read this first example, please? I was watching TV when the phone rang. Okay, thank you. Benjamin, please, the second. Yeah, just last night at 7 p.m., I was having dinner. Okay, thank you. And finally, we have... Um, while she was doing her homework, her brother was playing football. Okay, 
As you can see here in these examples, we are using the past continuous to talk about interrupted actions. For example, in the first one, I was watching TV when the phone rang. Something was happening when something else happened. Okay? For example, I was watching TV, estaba viendo la televisión cuando el teléfono sonó. It happens the same with the following example. Uh, last night at 7 p.m., I was having it. It was something that was happening in that time. And in this third example we have, while she was doing her homework, her brother was playing foot. Okay, here we have two actions that, was hap that were happening in the same time. Dos acciones que estaban pasando en el mismo tiempo. Mientras ella hacía su tarea, su hermano jugaba fútbol. Okay, so can you notice the difference between these two tenses? ¿Puede notar la diferencia entre estos dos tiempos? The grammatical structure. Okay, the grammatical structure. And what else? What's the difference between these two tenses? The simple past is for complete uh, actions, or in, in the and past continuous is for a specific time or parallel action. Okay, thank you, Benjamin. Okay, the, uh, the past continuous uh, is an action that probably is not completed totally. Yes. Okay, excellent. So, as you both mentioned, the simple pause is for completed actions, and the past continuous is for to talk about activities, events that are somehow happening in the past. Okay, yes. entonces el pasado simple es para acciones que ya terminaron completas, y el past continuous para hablar de actividades, eventos que están de alguna manera sucediendo en el pasado. Ok. Let's see this. Here we have how can we make sentences using the past continuous tense. To make um, positive sentences, the structure is the following. First, we have to write the subject, then the auxiliary or the verb, that is to be, but in the past. And do you know what is the past of the verb to be? Was where. Was where, okay. And then the verb with the ing end. Primero va el sujeto, luego el verbo to be en pasado, dependiendo del sujeto, y finalmente el verbo con la terminación ing. For example, she was cooking all the morning. She is the subject was the verb to be in the past, cooking, the verb with the ing, and all the morning, the complement. Okay, Edgar, can you give me an example using this structure, please? I was working uh, at the early morning. Okay, I was working in the early morning. Okay, excellent. And Benjamin, can you give an example too? Yes. Uh, uh, he was uh, he was swimming uh, in your in your in your pool. Okay, he was swimming in your pool. Excellent, Benjamin. So this is how you can make uh, sentences using the past continuous tense. And then we have for negative sentences, para oraciones negativas. And the structure is almost the same. First, you have to write the subject, then the verb to be in the past, plus the word not, plus the verb ing, okay? For example, she was not sleeping when he came home. Okay, so for negative sentences. Edgar, can you give me an example using this structure, please? 
um, they were um, doing their homework. They were doing their homework. Okay, but that's a positive sentence. Can you do? Can oh, you make sorry. a negative they, one? Please? They were they were uh, doing their their homework. Okay, they weren't doing their homework. Okay, excellent. Benjamin, can you give me a sentence using this structure, please? Mm, yes, uh, I was not running when it's raining. Okay, I wasn't running when it was raining. Okay, excellent. And finally, we have how we, we can make questions using the past continuous tense. As I explained in the previous lessons, when we are making questions, uh, sorry, asking questions, first we have to write, in this case, the auxiliary of the verb to be. For example, was or were. Then the subject and finally the verb and complement. For example, was she sleeping when he came home? Was she sleeping when he came home? Okay. Aquí solo hay que invertir el verbo. Primero va el, el verbo to be en el pasado, el sujeto y finalmente el verbo con la terminación ing. Uh, Edgar, can you give me an example using this structure, please, for questions? Were you listening pop music? Okay. Were you listening to pop music? Okay, that's a good example. And Benjamin, can you give me an example using the questions? Okay, was she working with with um, with his in your in your work station? Okay, was she walking? Did you mention Work, working? Working. Working. Okay, working. Okay, was she working? Okay, that's a good question too. Okay, so this is how you can make positive, negative in questions using the past continuous tense. So far, do you have any questions? No, oh, yes. No. Okay, and here we have some uses of this tense. Algunos usos de ese tiempo gramatical. The first one is the, the one that we already mentioned to describe parallel actions. Okay, while I was washing the dishes, I heard a loud noise. Something was happening when something happened. Algo estaba sucediendo cuando algo más pasó. Mientras lavaba los trastes, escuché un ruido fuerte. Okay, um, I think we are running out of time. Can you join to the same link again, please? Okay. Yep. Thank you. Excellent, very good, very good, please. Thank you, teacher. Yes. Okay, so let's continue. Okay, we were mentioning that the first use for this grammatical tense is to describe parallel actions. Okay, and the second use that is to describe what someone was doing at that particular point in time. Para hablar sobre algo o para escribir lo que alguien estaba haciendo en un punto específico en el tiempo. For example, I was working in the garden all day yesterday. I was working in the garden all day yesterday. And the third use for this grammatical tense is to express interrupted action in the past. Okay? Para hablar de algo que se interrumpió en el pasado. For example, I was driving to work when I crashed my car. Estaba manejando el trabajo cuando Choque mi coche. Okay. And also to describe repetition and irritation. Okay. He was complaining in class. He was complaining in class. Okay. So these are some um, uses that we have for this grammatical tense. Son algunos usos que tenemos para este tiempo gramático. Okay. Hasta aquí tienen alguna duda o pregunta con esto? <laughs> Ok, entonces sí podemos notar la diferencia entre el pasado simple y el pasado continuo. Sí. 
Yep. Benjamin? Yes. Okay, if I ask you for an example to express interrupted action in the past, Edgar, what would you say? Can you give an example, please? Uh, I was eating my meals when my mom called me. Okay, I was eating my meals when my mom called. Okay, you were eating when your mom called. Okay, excellent. And Mehamim, can you give me an example? Okay, uh, I was uh, sleeping in my bed when I get up in the morning. Okay, I was sleeping in my bed when I got up in the morning. Okay, in this case, the verb has to be in the past. So it's got. Got up. Oh, okay. When I got up. Okay, thank you. And... Okay, so, and to describe what someone was doing at a particular point of time. Edgar, can you give me an example, please? Um, I was reading the newspaper uh, at, at the early morning. Okay, I was reading the newspaper in the early morning. Okay, excellent. And Mehamim, the same example. Uh -huh. Okay, I was dinner in my in my house yesterday at the eight p.m. p.m. Okay, I was dinner at my house yesterday at eight p.m. Okay, excellent. Okay, guys. So as you can see, um, you have different options so you to use this grammatical. Tense. Tienen diferentes opciones o diferentes usos que ustedes pueden darle a este tiempo gramatical. Y como pueden ver, lo utilizamos para hablar de acciones que de alguna manera sucedieron en el pasado o siguen sucediendo en el pasado, pero ya no continúan en el presente. Ok. Y combinándolo con el pasado simple, podemos utilizarla para contar anécdotas. Algo estaba pasando cuando algo pasó. Okay, so this is the difference between these two grammatical tenses. Any questions so far? No, it's okay. Okay, so let's continue then. Do you remember the words that we learned in our previous lesson? Affordable. Affordable. <laughs> Initiate. Initiate, okay. Initiation. Initiation. Uh, for affordability. Affordability, okay. Uh, only that. Only that, okay. Edgar, do you remember these words? Yeah, the same. Affordable for affordability. Initiate, initiative, and initiation. Okay, excellent. Thank you. So let's learn some 16 words today in this 10 minutes that we have left. Okay, so we have the first word that is physically as an adverb. Do you know what is physically? Something related with a uh, function with your movement in your body. Okay, movements in your body. Okay, here we have an example. Benjamin, can you read this example, please? Uh, yes, the, the dragon had to, had to be physically removed from the building. Okay, the ba background had to be physically removed from the building. Okay, the background. Do you know what is background? No. 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 Es un vagabundo. Okay. The background mm -hmm. had to be physically removed from the building. Entonces, el vagabundo tuvo que ser eh, físicamente Retirado del edificio. Okay, so let's see. Okay, as Edgar mentioned, in a way that relates to the body or someone's appearance. Okay, de alguna manera que se relaciona con los movimientos del cuerpo o con la apariencia de alguien. For example, Edgar, can you read this example, please? Uh, physically, I find him very attractive. Okay, physically, I find him very attractive. So it's related to 
his appearance. Okay, físicamente lo encuentro muy atractivo. Como me parece muy atractivo. And here we have the same example. The protesters had to be physically removed from the room. Okay, that means that they were taken away. Taken away. You know what is taken away? It's like remove something. Okay, excellent. To move something. Okay, entonces, we body or with someone appearance. Está relacionado con el cuerpo o como alguien luce. Mm -hmm. Then we have the word physical, that is an adjective. Do you know what is physical? Or have you ever heard this word? The, the stage of the, the person or something or things. Okay, the stage of a person or things. Okay. Okay, somehow it's related to the body. Okay, in this case, the estado de las personas o cosas. And for example, we have physical exercise, physical fitness, physical strength, physical disability. Okay, podemos utilizar esta palabra con muchos ejemplos. Por ejemplo, um, ejercicio físico. Um, fuerza física, um, disability, um, condición física, okay? And then we have, I'm not a very physical sort of person. That means I don't enjoy physical activities, okay? Entonces, podemos utilizar esta palabra, physical, para referirnos a algún tipo de actividad que requiera o que involucre el cuerpo. ¿De acuerdo? Yeah, ok. Ok. And then we have physic as a noun, como sustantivo. Do you know what is physic? It's about the body of, of, of people. Ok, about the body. Let's see. Ok. The shape and size of human body. Okay, la forma y el tamaño del cuerpo humano. He has a very powerful muscular physique. Él tiene un físico poderoso y muscular. Okay, so it's related to the shape and size of human body. Okay, as we can see, these three words somehow are related to the body and movements. Esas tres palabras están relacionadas con la apariencia física y el cuerpo. Muy bien. So, let's continue with the following three words. The first word is provide. Do you know what is provide? Provide. To give someone. To... Okay, to give something to someone. Okay. Let's see. Exactly. To give someone something that they need. Darle algo a alguien que necesite. For example, Edgar, can you read this example? The first. This booklet provides useful information about local services. Okay, and this booklet provides useful information about local services. Okay, este libro o este folleto eh, nos da información útil acerca de los servicios locales. Muy bien, eh, Benjamin, the second example, please. Yes, all meals are provided at no additional cost. Okay, thank you. All meals are provided at no additional cost. Todas las comidas son dadas o son dadas sin costo adicional. Okay, muy bien. Entonces, we have that provide is to give someone something that they need. Darle algo a alguien que lo necesita. Muy bien. And then we have provider. That in this case is the person who gives something. Someone who provides something. Es la persona que da algo. For example, an internet service provider. Un proveedor de servicio de internet. Oh, the bank is now a major provider of financial services to the industry. El banco ahora es un proveedor mayor de servicios financieros a la industria. Okay, entonces tenemos que provider es alguien que da algo. Okay. And finally we have provision. Do you know what is provision? Supplies? Supplies. 
okay okay it can be supplied or also the action of providing something in this case for example the provision of good public transport will be essential for developing the area in this case it's also a supply as edgar mentioned um, la provision del buen transporte público is es essential for the desarrollo de la area. okay so so far do you have any questions with these three words six words no no, okay. So the first three words are related with con que se relaciona las primeras tres. Body and movement and aspects of appears. Okay. Body, movements, aspect and appearance. Excellent. And the three last. Las últimas tres con que se relaciona. We provide uh, provide something or provision and, and ter uh, some service okay to give something to someone to provide or to provide okay excellent okay guys we only have one minute left before we finished what do you learn today edgar um the things that i will learn is about uh the difference between simple past and past continue the structure of this uh, grammatical tense, uh, these new six words. Okay, thank you, Edgar. And Mejamin, what did you learn today? Uh, I learned about simple past, um, past continuous, and um, the simple past, for example, the simple past is for actions, action complete, and the past continuous is for actions on a specific time um, or, or, or a parallel actions. Okay, excellent, guys. So if you don't have any more questions, that will be it for today. And I'll see you next week on Thursday. Well, this Thursday to continue practicing more about this. Is that okay for you? Okay, okay thank you. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay, so have a nice day and I'll see you on okay. Thursday. Thank you so much. See you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good week. Bye-bye. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.